What's up everybody, my name is Samsot and this is a video tutorial for Christian Sal over on Reddit who wants to do a ghost fading out of existence kind of effect. There's a couple ways to do this, so I'm going to show you two methods. And first, we'll do the very simple one. So I have this shot right here of nothing. And then I'm walking in, sitting there, looking like a creepy ghost. And I want that guy to fade out of existence. So, I'll just make a cut before I start walking in right here. So I'll just have the clean plate, nothing in it right here. And then let's find the ghost sitting there being creepy. And let's figure out when I want him to disappear. Like right here. That's good. And now I have the ghost being creepy and then nothing. So, to make him fade out, I'll just right click, add a 25 frame, cross dissolve, and he's gone. Ooh. So that's pretty simple, but let's say you want to have another actor that's not a ghost and not fading out of existence. So I'll just uh, pull my full clip down here and you can see what I'm working with. I have this shot of me being a, I guess, uh, mental case. Uh, sitting here waiting for my psychiatrist to arrive and tell me there is no such thing as ghosts. Great, so I'm just sitting here and looking around. And that's my cue to make a cut. Then I'll mo move forward and have this shot of my creepy ghost guy again. And I'll cut this in. So now I have the creepy ghost guy sitting here watching nothing. So let's take these two clips and create a new right click and create new fusion clip. And then let's go into fusion. And let's see what we have here. I have this media node. By pressing the button 2, I can see what that node is, this media 1. Or I can just drag it up here to see what the, what's in that node. And I can do the same for this. So I can see that this is my mental case actor. So I'll just call him actor 1. And I'll call this actor 2. The cool thing is about this is that I can also use this for a cloning effect because I'm basically just cloning myself because I don't have any actors right here. But this will work with uh, with uh, having other actors as well. So I'm going to set this actor 1 as my background because it's connected to this yellow input, which is the background input. And this actor 2 is connected to the green input, which is my foreground input. Great. So now you can see I can only see the ghost actor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new polygon node and I'm going to make a mask around this guy. Now it's a good idea dude, that the actors don't cross. So if he was to walk in front of my other actor, that would be, make a huge problem because I would have to mask him in front of him. But right now they are sitting pretty close, but they're not actually touching each other in any way, which is great. So I'll just pull this down here. Make a mask around its leg. Also, make sure your camera has manual settings when you're shooting this, so one shot isn't a little brighter than the other, or the focus doesn't change, because that will kind of screw up the effect. Anyway, I made this mask. Now I'm going to connect that mask to the input of my Actor 2. And as you can see, you can now see both guys. But just to make it a little less hard edge right here, I can take this polygon and turn soft edge up just a little bit so it kind of fades over right there. And now you can see these two guys sitting, watching each other in the uh, psychiatrist's waiting room, which is great. And now I want this guy to fade out, and that's pretty easy to do by just moving this blend option right here. He's fading out. So let's figure out when I want him to disappear, like right here. Set the keyframe, move forward a bit, pull this down. And let's have a look. And there you go. Now you know how to create a fading out of existence ghost kind of effect. If you learned anything in this video, hit on that like button. If you want to learn more about being a filmmaker, DaVinci Resolve and Fusion, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them down in the comments and I will answer. Thanks for watching, guys.